Hi everyone, I'm Mia. The Teradek Beam provides a cost-conscious solution for the video team that needs to send high-quality video and audio wirelessly over a distance. The Beam is designed with broadcasters in mind, but can be used for a number of applications. Let me show you how it works. If you're capturing footage of an event, accident scene, or even just following talent roaming around a location, like an office, wires can really limit what you're able to capture. The problem is wireless transmitters capable of sending high quality video over a distance can be very expensive and require extra gear like a backpack. Teradek built the Beam wireless transmitter and receiver exactly for these types of shooting scenarios. In this video, I'm gonna go over the wireless transfer specs, our real world test results using the Beam, latency, and the ports on the device. The Beam includes a small transmitter that goes between the camera and an Anton Bauer brick battery or a VBAC battery. The transmitter sends an H.264 video signal with embedded audio wirelessly to the receiver. Now, according to Teradek, the Beam can transmit that signal up to 2,500 feet. You can choose from several resolutions and frame rates, including 1080p60. And the Beam can send either progressive or interlaced video. One of the most appealing features of this device is its ability to send wireless video at high bit rates. The highest choice for wireless transfer is 30 megabits per second. But you can really stretch the signal range if you choose to send at a lower bit rate, like say 15 megabits per second. All this is done over an unlicensed 5 gigahertz band. Another cool feature is that the Teradek Beam transmitter can multicast to up to four different receivers. I used the Beam on a Sony PMW320K ENG style camera. And one of the things we do here quite often at Kelby One is live webcasts. By using the wireless transmitter and plugging the decoder directly into our live switcher, I can give reports roaming around the office or from set to set in our studio without worrying about dangling cables. Inside our office, the Beam worked through set walls and basic drywall at 30 megabits per second. We only started to experience hiccups with the signal when we tried to go through concrete walls. Otherwise, everything looked and sounded great. We were mostly working within 200 to 400 feet of the receiver and not in direct line of sight. If you're working on location, like many broadcasters are, there are lots of situations where a camera op can get closer to a scene than a vehicle. And there are lots of situations that take time to unfold, like a standoff, for example. A well, camera ops can be limited by media space. And when you run out of card space, you have to leave the scene to dump or use a runner to bring new cards. Now having the ability to wirelessly send all of your video and audio back to a truck eliminates that problem. So you never have to worry about missing a moment of action because you're switching out cards. Outside, we linked the receiver to an external recorder via SDI and dropped the resolution to 720p and the bit rate down to 15 megabits per second just to see how far we could get a reliable progressive signal. Now this receiver needs to be plugged into a power source, but there is a receiver option with an Anton Bauer battery plate available. We were able to get a clear signal without any interference up to 800 feet outside our studio and in a nearby neighborhood. One reason why the Beam is suitable for live or live to tape coverage is the lack of latency. It's nearly non-existent at roughly two frames or 110 milliseconds when transmitting a progressive signal. It's even less when you send an interlaced signal. I never noticed it while testing. And even if you're not shooting live, having the option to transmit what you're shooting directly back to a van or truck where an edit station or internet access is set up allows you to begin working on the video and uploading it immediately. Or you can even stream it live over the web with the included LAN port up to 50 megabits per second. You can stream RTSP directly to a server or MPEG-TS over Wi-Fi or LAN. The transmitter has a 3G SDI input and loop, so you can loop in a monitor for reference if needed. One of the features that broadcasters will love is the inclusion of a bi-directional IFB. You'll see the IFB ports right next to the SDI loop. This means if your camera operator is on location, he doesn't have to set up a separate IFB signal with the station or control room. The Beam provides two-way communication that can be essential in the field. There's a small, easy-to-read LCD screen and two joystick-style buttons to help you navigate the settings. A serial port is included for remote camera control. If you're working with an ENG camera that has RS-422 camera control features, you'll connect directly to the serial port on the transmitter. Then you'll connect the remote control device to the serial port on the receiver. 
Then camera ops on both ends can plug in headphones and communicate with each other. It's kind of a niche operation, but it can be really helpful if your workflow calls for it. Well, the Beam seems to hit a sweet spot. It transfers high quality video wirelessly over a good distance and with very little latency. And it's less expensive than its big brother, the Teradek Bolt. That makes it an option for broadcasters on a budget. I'm Mia McCormick. Thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, BNH has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help. We all know the difference a great teacher makes. They inspire you, challenge you, and push you to do the things you never thought you could. For creatives, that means you've got to know your tools inside and out. Whether it's Photoshop or photography, lighting or Lightroom, InDesign or After Effects. And while there are free videos out there, you have to watch 30 bad ones just to find a decent one. And a lot of times, the techniques are either outdated, complicated, or just plain wrong. What we need is a better way to learn. One that connects amazing teachers with creative people all over the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. A thriving educational community with nothing but the most talented, engaging, and respected teachers in the industry. Then we simplify the whole learning process with short, clear, concise classes. That's exactly what we've created for you right here at Kelby One.